Some additional photos show us that the leaked iPhone mini was actually the real deal. Sony provides some explanations over why it crippled the Xperia Z5 in the US, and it seems that the NFL is not too happy with the Microsoft Surface. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, could it be that you two got the day wrong in that song from the 70s or 80s? This is Parker Now Daily. I'm sure you remember that a few years ago, the NFL made a big deal over the Microsoft Surface replacing the iPad and certain teams, as uh, they kind of didn't understand the tablet back then. But this is rather interesting. The New England Patriots just lost the game for a few points recently, and they were blaming everything on a technical issue that lasted 20 minutes. And uh, even though they aren't directly saying that it's the fault of the Microsoft Surface, apparently they are claiming something close to that, and Microsoft is already denying that anything has to do with the company. Stay tuned as this uh, new soap opera unravels. And for those of you still questioning the possibility of VR becoming a thing, in a very near future, Samsung wants to bet high on this, up to the point where it is reported that the company is investing in uh, some movie studios, particularly from the Sundance Film Festival. Apparently, the company wants to give these uh, you know, studios the possibility to record videos in 3D so you can eventually watch these movies on VR. And uh, I did some VR with YouTube last night on Google Cardboard, and I kind of really like the experience, so I think they're onto something good. And speaking of Samsung, the company is uh, not having a good time when it comes to software updates. Number one, because my Galaxy Note 5 still does not have Marshmallow. And uh, that's actually become a little bit of an issue because the company just received a little lawsuit, uh, mainly because of how terrible it is when it comes to software updates. And if you're still waiting for your current devices to get Marshmallow, the company has just uh, let us know that they are delayed. And it could happen until after February, which rings a lot of bells, particularly for the Galaxy S7 to actually sell. And for those of you that are disappointed with Sony over removing the fingerprint scanner from the Xperia Z5 and its launch in the United States, we don't really think that you should be disappointed given how bad that sensor was and we showed you on video. But then again, if you're wondering exactly why, the company has just come on record to claim that it was a business decision. Yeah, I know, a business decision. No real explanation here. The company is just pretty much brushing it off. And uh, well, let's just see if the phone actually sells, particularly when it's just so late. And finally, for the very hot uh, leaks of today, if you were wondering if that iPhone mini video was real, well, it seems that it kind of is. We now have some photographs of it being compared against the iPhone 5, and uh, they have the same size. And unless this is a really good Photoshop job, it's pretty much a smaller iPhone 6 being compared to this phone, which is, a, again, rather interesting. It's really hard to predict exactly what Apple plans to do with this phone because, well, we've got the iPhone 6 that's still in the market and it sells for $100 less, so it leads me to the question of the day. How much would you be willing to pay for this iPhone mini whenever Apple launches it? Because in my case, unless they retain the same specs of the iPhone 6S on this phone and all the features, I would not pay more than 350 bucks for this thing. But leave us a comment down below as I doubt that Apple will price it that way. Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.